Yes. Yeah, still, I think that it might help if you wore glasses. Would you have any objection? No, fine, of course. Thanks. Good. Good. Jolly good, Henry. Well, now I think the, the next thing is for you to meet the president of the... Progressive Rock. Inter-Dominion Builders. I'll make an appointment. Uh-huh. Henry was all set to play the most important character part of his career. Ladies and gentlemen, at certain points in the following record, you will hear the sound of a cuckoo. But you know, don't panic. Remember, you are British. My name is Bond. Codename Brooke. I've joined the T set. My mission to wipe out progressive rock. Dick before it took over the world. The mastermind behind this fiendish conspiracy, one Bob, his English agent, last seen wearing dirty jeans, an oily cap, and driving a Rolls Royce. I picked up my telescopic sighted missile carrying amplified guitar and reported for duty. Hello, sweetie. Now you know what you've got to do, don't you, dear? My boss, the man from Auntie. First, I went to a seedy strip club where drinking and debauchery went on until dawn. It was nothing to do with the case, but you've got to relax now and again, haven't you? Suddenly, someone dropped a Joan Byers LP from a building. I jumped out of the way and fell down a manhole. I found myself in a cellar club, and there, sitting on a progressive rock stool, that's the same as an ordinary stool, but the legs creaked protestingly, was... He leveled a mouth organ at me that was strapped around his neck. This might go up, man, he hissed, through sincere teeth. Suddenly, two fans seized me and strapped me to a progressive rock table. He smiled and hit me across the face with a check for half a million pounds. I bounced. The check stayed exactly where it was. I screamed and was signed up by a record company. Suddenly, Burke came into the room. Soon, the room was full of Burks. I'm Amos, he grated and shot his cups. They fell to the floor. Several Rolling Stones appeared. What's all this, they mimed? Then a Rolling Stone gathered Amos and they left chewing. He began to sing at me. Sweat broke out on my brow. On and on he whined. Soon he finished the wine and waved the bottle at me. Lennon and McCartney shall hear of this, I shouted. They have a battalion of 2,000 songs on the alert. We've kidnapped Matt Monroe, he barked. I patted him and gave him a progressive rock biscuit. He chewed and choked on the last piece. Two engineers recorded him choking and it shot to number one before they'd finished sticking the labels on. Suddenly the bachelors, followed by Ken Dodd, rushed into the room. If anybody records, we've got them covered, they harmonized. Why, Joe, screamed Doddy. We've unearthed a tatty valerious plot. Hey, stand against the chilly wall, Mrs. While I pour molten lead down the back of your trousers. I shall now sing the river of tears is my happiness. And surrendered immediately. I climbed up the charts back to daylight. The world was saved from progressive rock. What would my next assignment be? The phone rang. I picked it out of the dustbin and spoke. Ho, oh, oh, top ten here. Get off to Liverpool, whack. There's been a revival. Lobster's son's just cut his teeth. On a disc. My name is Bob. Licensed to kill progressive rock. You know, Henry, you're in the wrong profession. Hmm? You should either become an assistant to a private detective or... Uh, Join the circus. <laughs>